So here I've got um, two capacitors. On the left is a 1 microfarad 35 volt tantalum and on the right is a 1 microfarad 50 volt ceramic, a multi-layer ceramic. And uh, they're about the same physical size and they're the same capacitance and they're a very similar voltage. But the ceramic is a relatively new innovation, certainly to have a ceramic of that high capacitance has only really occurred in the last few years. Tantalums have been around for uh, much, much longer. And it's the mobile phone industry really that's brought along these high value ceramics because before they were available the only thing you could use really was a tantalum. Uh, electrolytics were just too big and frankly too unreliable. And the price of tantalum um, started to go sky high. Tantalum's a relatively rare metal, and so um, there was a, a big push to get uh, ceramic capacitors with these high values. And because of the multi layering techniques, that's now been possible. Um, actually, when it comes to through hole components like these, cost wise, they're pretty much the same. But these, the tantalum chip capacitors, which are the ones that uh, mobile phones use, um, were, and probably still are, much, much more expensive. But there's another parameter of these two devices where they differ greatly, and that is polarity. Because you can see on the tantalum capacitor on the left, it's marked with a plus on the right-hand leg and so that capacitor has to be put in the right way round but the ceramic capacitor is not polarized and can be put in either way around and that could be quite handy certainly for me after uh, something I did recently I was uh, building one of my solar charge controllers recently and um, just a mistake, I put the uh, one microfarad tantalum capacitor in the wrong way round and uh, it has something like 20 volts across it and it took exception to being the wrong way round and just exploded and you can probably see, see there's all little bits of tantalum capacitor, exploded capacitor inside there and of course this unit now is uh, a write-off. So the ceramic capacitor would be would have been very useful in this uh, instance because of course that could have been put in either way round and it wouldn't have mattered. So um, possibly I might change now to a ceramic rather than a tantalum capacitor in the uh, charge pump circuit. So let's just uh, quickly check that the ceramic is a suitable alternative to the tantalum. So the tantalum's measuring 0.987 microfarads and the ceramic is 0.922 or 0.918 but that's moving so I may look at investigating why that's moving down whereas the tantalum is absolutely stable something I'm going to look into.